Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our Answer Our Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 177. And it's just been a few seconds since the end of the last episode. We have, we're starting the skills to fight, and we have actually 9E110 time theorems, which I feel like this could merge the Nano Phil Big Rip build and the other um, Big Rip, and the production Big Rip build. So, like, if we actually check our dilated time, E106 per second. So that means we can get over E111 per day, which is pretty crazy. And, but the real reason why I'm doing this, first I'm gonna get this neutrino molt, so E375 neutrinos, and then also if we go to ghostly photons, I should probably enter big rip. Like I actually keep forgetting to eternity, I think I forgot to eternity grind last ghost of I, which could have cost me a little bit. And like, I feel like at this point, I think E978 or 9.78 E110. If I just if I just use this build, um, oh no, I'm not I'm not there yet. I need 9.83 E110, not just 9.78 E110. I'm so close, but I'm I'm, I'm literally I'm so I'm so close, but I'm not quite there yet. So yeah, that's a that's a little bit sad, but it's not that bad. Like I, I can just I can just do this. I can get a lot of attorney points here, and if I just go back to this and going to a, to the nano fields on big rip build, now I should be able to get yeah sixty six forward sixty seven. Actually, I I know how many I I want to get. I want to get sixty nine because sixty nine nice. Also, what's interesting while I'm waiting for 69 rewards is that the anti-energy is actually going up, like, a lot. And it's actually, it could be a little bit ner nervous. Like, it feels like maybe later l later on in, in Nanofield, like, the anti-energy will, again, be a major factor. Instead of just the amount of time it takes for me to get to a certain amount of prion energy to get to the next reward. Because it's getting quite a bit of anti-energy per second. I mean, it's not... It's nothing compared to the prion energy, but compared to the cap, it's over two percent. So that could be a that could be a factor later on, maybe in Bosonic Lab. Who knows? So I'm j I'm just still waiting for 69 rewards. Okay, here we go. 69 rewards, nice. And I think it's just time to go out of Big Rip. And I think I've gotten a good amount of ghostly photons. Now I'm gonna try to get some dark matter here and this should allow me like I have 500 billion ghostly photons that's 364,000 ghostly rays per second so I feel like that combined with like the tachyon particles and all the neutrinos I have I feel like that should get me to at least one ultraviolet light I'm not I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna really get I don't think I'm gonna get the next light empowerment but I feel like I'm gonna at least get the first ultraviolet light also Almost E30 quadrillion antimatter. If we start, if, if you end the non-stop writing with full antimatter amount with three digits per second, you start in 316 million BC. So, yeah, and also E8000 quarks, which is also insane. Like, I, I wonder how many neutrinos I have. I have E380. I feel like I could get all the way to E384 or 385. So, yeah, it's pretty powerful here. And I just feel like I'm going to wait a bit. It's not even going to be that long. I, I feel like I can just pretty quickly get to the first ultraviolet light here. And and maybe if we go... And let's see where our tree decay is at. It's, it's at E79. Or E80. So that means we do have the, what's the second radioactive decay. And cl pretty close to the third. So, yeah. And if I go... And, and I feel like maybe I'll be able to get this upgrade. Because I think I had like E274 eternal matter last time. So I and it's based on the infinite it's the infinite time reward. So I feel like that would be powerful ghost particle increase. So yeah. Seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later and we have six billion ghostly rays. So it's actually we're pretty close to the next light empowerment. We need eleven point two five billion. I don't think I'm gonna get to this ghostify. However, probably gonna be next ghostify so yeah if we grind neutrinos here let's let's just see how many neutrinos we can get now we can get um e393 neutrinos maybe even 394 but yeah this is going this is definitely gonna speed up big rip um qu quite a bit and 
you can see it's pretty easy to get E393 here and two ghost particle multipliers. And also, I finally now have enough time theorems to actually merge some builds. So you'll, you'll see what I mean by that. So I'm, I'm going to stop grinding neutrinos here. And, and well, first E30 quadrillion I already had that. But if we go in, also E400 billion attorney points. I think that's the first time I got that. So yeah, there's just a lot of exciting stuff happening. But if I go into Big Rip, this is the... Um, where I can actually finally make a, a build that will combine the nano fields and big rip build and this build because I need about 1 e111 time theorems and I and I have that so it's essentially what I'm gonna do is essentially just this build I just gotta memorize memorize this it's only the stuff um, only these two branches skip these two skip all these and I think I get everything else so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna respec just get all of these. I have to purchase the mastery studies the right way here. Let's do this. Skip. I'm skip these two. Get everything here. And then only take the right path. And then get both of these. And I just have enough time theorems to get this. I'm, I'm going to say um, it's going to be a new preset. I'm going to rename it this. Okay, so I, I know it's complicated, but it's E111 time theorems, and essentially the big thing about it is that it combines both the nano field and big rip build and the, uh, like, just the production. So, actually, first of all, we have E102 spin. I feel like I will definitely be able to get this and the fourth radioactive decay, but then also there's nano fields, so we can actually get 73 rewards. It may help slightly, so. That's why I'm going to get that. Also, you have over E308 prions. So, there's so many... I have no idea how, how I have that many prions. There's must be some multiplier to my emperor dimensions. That's pretty insane. It's only the odd emperor dimensions. Isn't that like like a neutrino thing or something? It's like, yeah, green power boost, odd um, emperor dimensions, and prion charge production. So, that's probably how I'm getting so many nano field rewards. But more importantly, we can go into Eternity Challenge 10... And get E283,000 attorney points and E305 or um, tachyon particles. And not, not only that, we are close to E105 um, quark spin here. That's going to allow me to probably get to E308 tachyon particles for the first time. And also, we have E283 eternal matter. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reach E290 this run. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't, but I, I can at least, at the very least, I see five E277 ghost particles. So I'm definitely getting pretty far here. I, I feel like if I just can get the fourth radioactive decay, I, I feel like that's going to allow me to reach E290 um, eternal matter, giving me this upgrade. And I feel like that's going to be pretty OP because it's the infinite time reward. The infinite time reward is like the most overpowered thing. So... Yeah, we're now really close to this, and here it is, next level of this. This hopefully means E308. Um, okay, it is E308, but it's not over 1.79 E308. So, okay, it's technically not broken infinite yet, but we're close. I'm just going to wait for, like, at this point, I now have E296. Actually, why? Why? Okay, I feel like Attorney Challenge... Oh, there it is. 4E308. So, I have broken infinite. I feel like th I should just use this instead of Attorney Challenge 10 for pushing Tree of Decay. Like, Attorney Channel 10 does something that will that nerfs Tree of Decay. Like, all I need here is two more of these upgrades. There's this 7E105 upgrade that is, is pretty close. And then after I get that, I think... Let's see what it is. Oh, I, I'm barely missing these. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting some probably some random upgrades here that matter less. But okay, n now I'm getting close to the green. This is 5e106. That's all I need for the fourth radioactive decay. So I'm just gonna wait it wait it out here. Okay, here we go. This is the first branch to get the fourth radioactive decay. And actually, I got an achievement for this. It's this one. Get 10 total radioactive decays. 
I, I think I thought this was 10 in each branch, but no, it's 10 total. So 3 plus 4 plus 3, that's, that's 10. Now I have it on all branches. So you can see now E111, and also they are now called quantum unstable quarks, which is weird because quarks are already quantum. But wh whatever. That's, that's what they're called. So yeah, and then I think I just need one more radioactive decay. And then it'll be ghostly unstable quarks. And that's what I need to unlock Bosonic Lab, the next mechanic. And it's not only the next mechanic, it's the final one, at least as of now. So, yeah, let's see if I can get any more turning points here. I can get a little more, and I can get a little more tachyon particles as well. Doesn't look like I'm going to actually reach E290 um, eternal matter at this point. Like, it's definitely, I feel like I've, I've definitely gotten a good like, a good amount of stuff, and 4th Rain Act Decay is really good. Also, Achievement doesn't give, it doesn't have any reward, but it, it's fine. And, there, I mean, I feel like at this point, I should just Ghostify. Like, there's not much I, else I can do here. Nanofield now has 76 rewards. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But it, it's 20 orders of magnitude of Ghost Particles. That's going to be about 25 orders of magnitude of Neutrinos. And I feel like it's going to... Hopefully, like, I can definitely reach the next light empowerment, this next Ghostify. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ghostify right here, and this should, um, well, first I think I, I can go into Big Rip. I keep forgetting to Eternity Grind. It's probably not that, um, that harmful to forget to Eternity Grind a little bit, but it's still just a little annoying that I keep forgetting. And I'm just going to do this just for ghostly photons and um, you know, fill rewards, rewards. Also, E1000 dilated time in Big Rip. That That's a first. Like, it, I don't even think I had that much outside of Big Rip before photons. So, yeah. And then here, it's not going to be the same amount of rewards as before. I I feel like I'm just going to get... Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not even sure if I can get 69 this time. Actually, maybe... Maybe if, if I if I just go like into Attorney Channels ten and then out again, I can actually like I like maybe that boosts Nanofield a little bit. Um, does that really? Uh, it seems to be a little faster. I mean, I could wait for yeah. I'm definitely gonna be able to get E sixty nine here. Not E sixty nine. That that would be OP. E sixty nine rewards. No, just sixty nine, and then maybe I could just get seventy. Or, or not, because 69. So, um, yeah. There's now only two builds, which is actually really nice. It's just the Big Rip build and the and the non-Big Rip build. And, like, I've, I've, I'm feeling like, actually, I can probably add... No, this is... I think this is all I really need for... Out of, out of Big Rip here. Eventually, I think pretty soon, I'll be able to just do one build. Like, once I get this achievement, which is only about three orders of magnitude of time theorems away. And this essentially makes it so that when you, be when you become a ghost, you will, ha you will have a full study tree. So, yeah, that, that, that's a huge reward. That's, that's definitely the... That's, that's one of the best achievement rewards in the entire game. I mean, of course, there's... It's probably only behind infinite time um and and the intergalactic whereas this one there's probably a couple others that are also really really good like um this one but this one i will say is probably one of the one of the biggest achievement rewards at least at least later on it's like the biggest one like post ghostify so um yeah there's not much else i can do at this point i'm, I'm just going to try to get 11 billion ghostly rays and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.